Hey guys, it's Chuck at Timberbend Farm, and today we're working in the high tunnel. I'm going to show you a little bit about what we're doing this year. We're coming up with a little different process to uh, put tomatoes in the ground. Last year we had a big problem with uh, a lot of weeds in our high tunnel, and we didn't use any weed barrier. But this year uh, we went ahead and installed our cattle panels for uprights for the uh, indeterminate tomatoes to climb up on, and uh, we're going to go through and burn holes in the uh, fabric so we can plant those tomatoes in those holes and uh, hopefully that'll give us a, a good place to uh, be able to come in and, and harvest tomatoes without having weeds all over the place. And if we get it set up like we like it, we can use this process again next year. As you can see, um, this is a pretty good job. We took a, just a regular torch here and put a can on the end of it to kind of concentrate the, the heat there so we could uh, direct where we're going to burn those holes. They're not exactly perfect. I probably could have come up with a template or something, but uh, this actually worked pretty good. Um, so we're going to dig in these holes down, plant the, the uh, tomato plants, put a few amendments in there with them as we, as we get them in the ground, and then we'll our, our drip tape has emitters that come out every 12 inches and so what we did is we skipped one and uh, our plants will be planted every 24 inches apart and we feel like with them uh, being more upright on the, the panels that that'll give us enough space uh, for them to get air and circulation and uh, we'll be able to uh, put one drip emitter right at the base of each plant in each row so we re really feel like we're going to have a good uh, successful year growing tomatoes this year. We'll find check, out. Check back with us. We'll let you know.